How do you sort out the so-called jargon from real-world practices that work? Do the members of your organization find some business or technology advice utterly confusing? Welcome to Real Talk with Sam Holzman. In this program, we set the record straight, and in terms that business people and technology people can understand. Now, here is your host, Sam Holzman. Welcome to this edition of Real Talk. I'm Sam Holzman, and the topic today is the following. Agile techniques, agile programming, agile analysis, agile something or another in the world of technology, and cybersecurity or cyber attacks. And the question is, is there a relationship between these two? This has been a topic of mine and a number of colleagues for almost two years now. So what we decided to do is to think about this with a bit of science behind it. So we begin by looking at the concept of a scientific hypothesis. And the Britannica Encyclopedia defines it this way. Scientific hypothesis is an idea that proposes a tentative explanation about a phenomena or a narrow set of phenomena observed in the natural world. The true two primary features of a scientific hypothesis are falsifiability and testability, which are reflected then in an if-then type of statement, summarizing the idea and the ability to be supported or refuted through observation and experimentation, in other words, getting the facts. So if we look at it, we can say the following. Is the rise in agile techniques, agile analysis, agile programming, agile whatever in technology related to the concept of the increase in cyber attacks, cyber command, ransomware, and things like that? So, for those of you that are into artificial intelligence, um, I had to take a digression recently and said, well, let's take a look at what these wonderful AI things tell us about it. I'm smiling. If I know you can't see me smile. It says, quote, I couldn't find any direct correlation between the rise in agile programming and the rise in cyber attacks. However, <laughs> it is important to note that it as attack surfaces and exposure to outside of traditional enterprise networks continues to grow, AI offers more opportunities for cyber attacks. In an agile environment, cybersecurity means having a comprehensive approach to identifying any gaps or concerns. Translation, AI has the ability because of its characteristics, to increase the number of cyber attacks. However, we're not there yet. Back in just a moment. So you want to advance your career and see enterprise architecture as a key component to this advancement. Or you're an enterprise architect and you want to be more effective in addressing business and technology needs. You want to create highly effective solutions that deal with the ever-evolving changes in businesses and organizations. But accumulating the knowledge and certification to do that can be a challenge. That's why EACOE created a one-of-a-kind certification workshop for enterprise architects. The workshops will teach you proven step-by-step -step enterprise architecture techniques that you can use for addressing continuous business and organizational change and give you the certification you need to progress in your career. Want to learn more? Then visit EACOE.org. Thanks for returning. Now, as our research continued, we came across what I like to call the four C's. Correlation, causation, coincidence, or contributing. So let's start off with the word contributing. Contributing is one of the causes of a change. It contributes to a change. So coming back to what we talked about as far as agile techniques and cybersecurity. Contributing means AI is contributing to the increase in cyber attacks because of 
agile programming techniques increasing. So saying it differently, as agile programming techniques increase, AI is contributing to the cyber attack increase. Coincidence. Coincidence means that the events are happening at the same time by accident, but seem to have some correlation. In other words, there is no cause and effect. It's two curves that are going in the same direction, but there is no relationship between those. In other words, it's not contributing, it's not causing, or not correlating. It's just two lines that happen to be going in the same direction. Let's continue. Causation means that the change in one thing brings about changes in the other. There is a cause and effect relationship between things. The two things are correlated with each other, and there is a causal link between them. Saying it differently, as we have an increase in agile programming, we are having a corresponding increase in cybersecurity incidents and attacks. Causation. Correlation. Correlation describes an association between things. When one thing changes, so does the other. A correlation is a statistical indicator of relationship between these things. These things change together. But, here's the but, but this co-variation isn't necessarily due to a direct or indirect link. A correlation does not imply causation, but a causation always implies correlation. So in summary, the hypothesis is as we have an increase in agile techniques, agile programming, agile analysis, etc. There is a what? A causation of increase in cyber attacks. That is the scientific hypotheses that we're trying to test. And as of this broadcast, there are research activities that we and others are doing to try to figure this out. There isn't anything clear yet, as our AI bot friends have told us earlier. Your comments are extremely important to us and welcome on this very important topic. Until next time, stay well. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in to Real Talk. Be sure to join your host, Sam Holzman, again for another edition of our program. We'll have more real topics of discussion then.